Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be doing a what I got for Christmas 2018 and before I get on with it I know everyone always has this little disclaimer but basically if you don't enjoy these videos don't watch it because um, I know these videos can offend people or people just don't enjoy watching it so I'd suggest clicking off if you don't enjoy these videos. But I'm going to be sharing all the bits and bobs that I've received this Christmas just because I think it's also, like I love watching these videos so I love producing them too. Mainly because I get loads of Christmas gift ideas for like next year or like birthday gift ideas. I love seeing what people got for each other um, and what they got for Christmas so I don't know I just thought it would be nice to share with you what I got. So. First thing, I'm literally gonna just do, I'm gonna thank everyone in advance. Thank you so much if any of you got me a present. I cannot believe um, how generous everyone has been. So yeah, thank you very much for that. First thing I got is this white jumper. It's sort of chenille material, so it's like super soft and um, it's a turtleneck. I think this is from Primark that I picked out myself when I went shopping with my nan, but I absolutely love it. I really wanted like a white, I love white jumpers because of my dark hair. So I'm wearing it today for Boxing Day. But then I've also got these earrings in that my best friend Tassie bought me for Christmas. I filmed and shared all the presents that my best friends got me in a vlog where we did my Christmas at uni. So I'll leave that vlog down below so you can see what my best friends bought me. Because I'm not going to include them in this vlog because I don't have them all here with me. Most of them are at uni. Um, so I'll link that down below so you guys can see what my best friends got me. These I'm actually wearing so I thought I might as well show you. And they are from Topshop. They're sort of like almost cow print and they go perfectly with my cow print coat that some of you may have seen on my Instagram or my vlog channel, but I absolutely love the these. They're just like thick hoops. They're really sturdy and I absolutely love them. I love big earrings. I love small earrings. I just am a massive fan of wearing earrings. So next thing I got is something that I'm extremely happy about. I have a massive, massive suitcase that I've been wanting for a very long time. Basically, I travel quite a lot, not in terms of abroad. I just travel like around the country a lot. Like when I'm in Lincoln, I go to see my boyfriend or I travel home. And I usually need a suitcase. And I've had, honest to God, like the worst nightmares with suitcases this year. So um, I'm very happy that I finally got one that's not broken, not too small, not too big, that has wheels at the bottom. It's just, I'm just very, very happy. So thank you very much to my godparents for getting me that. I'm not gonna hold it up for too long because you know what a suitcase looks like, but it's just basically a Slazenger big black suitcase, a very useful um, present that I was re I'm really grateful and really wanted this year. Um, so I'll be able to have much more pleasant journeys when I'm traveling in 2019, thank God. Um, and it's also gonna come in useful for holidays like in the future, um, like when me and Aiden go skiing next year, which will be lovely. So I'm very happy about that. I'm not gonna go through everything because I do have like chocolate and sweets. Um, but I'm just gonna go through some of the other like bits and pieces that my family got me. This was something that was actually on my Christmas wish list. My brother ended up buying me it and honestly, I'm so, so happy. Like me and the girls all put this on our Christmas list. It is the Soap and Glory Mask Force 5. So there's five face masks in here that I've been really wanting to try from um, Soap and Glory. So there's the Skin Smoothing Pore Refining Mask, Super Hydrating Miracle Moisture Mask, Party Recovery Radiance Boosting Mask, Purifying Declog Mask, and the Super Hydrating Under Eye Brightening Mask, which are all gonna come in very, very handy. So I'm very, very excited to try these out. And I'm sure I'll let you guys know on my vlog channel when I, when I use them. So sorry again for this horrible yellow lighting in the background. It's like the only place I can sort of film that's semi okay. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. This is the other present that my brother got me that I think is so sick. So it's basically a game and you all know if you watch my vlog channel how much I love board games or just any sort of game in general. I'm a very competitive individual. It's one of my best and worst traits, I guess, but I am very competitive with myself and then other people when we play games, so. Um, my brother bought me a host your own murder mystery night and it has like a little host guide, CDs, and it's like a big challenge thing. And obviously you guys, some of you guys will know that I study forensic science at university. So this is right up my street. Like I'm so excited. I've done a couple of murder mystery nights um, back when I was at school, because our school used to host some, but I haven't done one in absolutely ages. And basically you play the detective and try and find out who murdered out of like loads of people. This looks so exciting. I'm really, really, really looking forward to playing this. It has like all invitations and things in. So you can actually host it like a proper dinner party, which is literally a dream. Like this is something I'd want to tick off my bucket list to be honest. So thank you very much, David. This is such a thoughtful and exciting gift and I, I cannot wait to 
give this a go. I'm sure I'll vlog it whenever I, whenever it happens. Right, so for Crimbo, my mum bought me some cargo trousers from Misguided. This was something else I'd asked for. I really wanted some cargo trousers, um, and I tried these on from Misguided before in my size, but they were too small, so I had to upper size. So um, mum got me the size up, which is lovely. They're just simple black cargo trousers with a few pockets down the side and like cuffed bottoms I'm really excited to style these with like turtleneck tops like this but not jumpers like thin tops and some of my bodysuits I think they'll look really nice and hopefully flattering from what I pictured I need to get a belt though that goes through it but I'm very excited to try those on I haven't tried them on yet oh my brother also got me this because basically I love Moana the Disney film and I already have the pig on my bed at uni. So he got me Hey Hey, which is the other little animal that's in the film. Um, it's just like this stupid chicken. Chicken? Brewster? Chicken. I'm gonna say chicken, but it could honestly, a cockerel, fuck knows. Um, but yeah, he's he's hilarious in the film as well. So rather got me him to join um, the pig on my bed, poor. Cute, I thought that was a funny, but very good idea as well. <laughs> So my auntie ended up getting me a couple of the um, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponges which I absolutely adore and use constantly. I always forget to wash them so they get really grubby and, and they basically become irreversible like I can't get them back to any sort of normal functioning state so I'm very happy to be stocked up with these. As you can see I've already removed one but this had two in and um, these are always a great present for me because I, ugh, I use them all year round and every year so thank you very much for these this from my mum. This is another beauty item that I got. It is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I absolutely adore this stuff. Like, honestly, this is my favourite foundation of all time. Like, if anyone ever asked me, like, what's your recommended foundation for dry skin with full coverage, it's NARS Sheer Glow. Honestly, this is the best. And I got it in the shade Light 6 Salen or Kaelin? Keelan? I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it's C-E-Y-L-A-N. Um, this is a shade up from what I had before or a shade down, I can't remember, but my shade wasn't in stock and my mum's kindly purchased this for me. You can get this obviously in places like Debenhams, Feel Unique, stuff like that. Um, but honestly, it's, it's so incredible. I'm wearing it today. You might not be able to see on the camera because I have just been crying. Um, from The Greatest Showman, <laughs> but um, it's literally so full coverage. It makes my skin like glow like within. It's honestly incredible. And I even pop this in with some liquid or highlighter and it just makes my skin so vibrant and less dull and dry like it usually is. So thank you very much, mum, for stocking me up with this because I'm always very hesitant to buy it when I'm at uni because I can't really afford to spend that much money on a foundation, but it is my favorite of all time. So I do really, really appreciate that. And um, thank you very much to my mum and dad for getting me that. I say mum because my mum like chose it out, you know. Oh yeah, another present my auntie and uncle got me is this cute little bag from Misguided that was on my wish list. You know how much I'm loving little cute, cutesy bags at the minute. So I've got this light blue velvet mini bag, which I'm not so cute. I can just take this out and it, when I'm in like a dress, like going on an evening out, night out, where you don't need many things on you. And it's just like a little pop open. And there's plenty of space in there for money, cards, phone, keys. Perfect little, perfect little mini bag. And I just love this blue color at the minute. I just love different shades of blue. I don't know, I'm going through this phase of blue at the minute. So absolutely love this. And I'm really grateful because that was actually on my Christmas wish list. Oh, next one. This is a book that my boyfriend's mum bought me. I did suggest her if she was looking for presents for me um, to get this. But basically, if you know In The Fro, she is a really well-known blogger who I've been following and loving for absolutely ages. She's so like kind-hearted and down to earth. Um, her name's In The Fro for anyone new and if not just honestly check her out she's like constantly blogging she's so um hard working and motivational she's done some amazing collaborations with like nasa and things honestly she's living my dream um and she brought out a book called the new fashion rules because her main focus is sort of fashion um and it's so beautiful like the actual cover it's like the perfect coffee book coffee table book that's what i meant to say and it has just loads of things about her love for fashion and different tips and things like that so i'm very very excited i absolutely love her style i always like check in on her blog and i don't know i'm just very very excited to read this so yeah thank you very much to anya aiden's mum for buying me this because i really do appreciate it 
Oh, my mum also my mum and dad also bought me this book. I'm sure it was my mum and dad, yeah. Um mum and dad bought me this um no bake cakes and treats, which she thought would be great for me to take back to uni. And I'm really excited to show Megan and Hattie this because I'm sure they'll be just as excited. But we do love baking, like, I absolutely adore it, but I don't do it as much at uni because it's either too much of a hassle or you need like loads of products. But this one you don't even need to put it in the oven, it's just like fr like food that you make and then put in the fridge or store it in your cupboard, and it's literally filled with loads of different things. So I'm very excited to take this back and I'm sure we'll be filming us making these things and I'll recommend our favourite recipes when we get going. Aiden's mum also bought me this beautiful bag from New Look. It is brown and like orangey red and it's sort of like a tote style so you can put it over your shoulder. I absolutely love this because it's really roomy. It's good for like travelling when you're not travelling light but you're also not taking a suitcase if you know what I mean. So it's like a really nice medium sized bag that will be great for like overnight stays or like a weekend stay if you were just taking like a few little bits and pieces um i absolutely love this very beautiful autumnal colors which are dreamy um and yeah thank you very much Anya. i love that okay the rest of the things in here are just loads of chocolate and sweets <laughs> some of my family think alcoholic so i did get quite a lot of alcohol related gifts one thing are these strawberry Prosecco bubbles, which I can add into Prosecco. So they flavor the Prosecco, so it's not so intense. The little strawberry bubbles, which, will be, which I'll be taking back to uni, along with all of this other alcohol related stuff. Um, my cousin's got me this beautiful bauble. It's like handcrafted and you unscrew the lid and that's also got some gin in. I can't remember what flavor it is. I think it's like a Christmas spiced gin flavor, which I'm excited to try. I um, absolutely love that. I also got this from my mum. So it's a gin glass, which we are yet to buy for the house at uni yet. So I'm really excited to try this out. And we've got some Gordon's pink gin in there in a little bottle, if you guys can see. Absolutely love that. My mum and dad also bought me my beloved um, new favorite drink, which is Palmer Violet Gin. This is the Whitley Neal handcrafted one. You can get JJ Whitley one. I don't know other brands that do the Violet Gin, but I just am obsessed with this. I don't usually like Palmer Violet, so it's kind of weird. This is great with lemonade. I absolutely adore it. I'm gonna definitely be taking this back to uni and indulging when we go back for refreshers week. This is a present that I've brought home from Megan. So some of you may have seen this on my vlog channel, but my best friend Megan bought me this bag, which is a dupe for a designer bag, but it literally looks the exact same. It says, un voyage au pays de ma veille. I've lost my French accent. I'm really sorry. I did do French at school. Um, but it's this cute, beautiful bag that says a trip to Wonderland. That's how it, what it translates to. And it's like this black rubber, um, transparent, like partially transparent bag. Absolutely adore it. You can carry it by the handle or there's like a longer strap to carry it over your shoulder. I adore it. I think it's so cool and quirky. And I've seen so many people wearing this, so you've probably seen this all before, but I'm very, very happy that I've got this in my life. Thank you, Meg. Oh, yes. This is a coat you may have seen on my vlog channel because Megan has the exact same one. But my auntie and my cousins bought me this huge pink coat from Primark that I absolutely adore. It's one of those like long line ones that is furry. It's sort of that Borg material. Um, and it's just like a really fluffy pink coat. You might, you might have seen it on Instagram because quite a lot of people do have this, but I just really love it. I love the pink. I think it's gonna be so cute throughout the whole of the winter period because it's only sort of just started. It's been rather warm for December to be honest. So I'm sure it'll only get colder in January to March time. So thank you very much to my auntie for this. I adore it and it's also very um, affordable. So you guys could go out and buy it if you fancied it too. And I'm sure I'll be shooting lots of outfit post with it on so make sure you're following me on instagram if you want to see what it looks like on right so moving on to presents that my boyfriend got me this champion jumper that i've wanted for absolutely ages it is the champion sweat it's like a sweatshirt for with the branding on the front and then the logo on the sleeves you can't really see the color properly on here but i'm sure again you'll see it on my instagram it's sort of a lemony cream color it's actually called cream um, I have loved the lemon one for ages and I think they discontinued it so Aiden got the closest one to it and it's pretty much lemon anyway so, so thank you very much Aiden honestly I was so shocked when I opened that I was not expecting it at all this which has been very much loved already and you may have seen this on my vlog channel with me and my family playing it so far this is a game called the chameleon and it's like sort of trapped if anyone remembers the um, CBBC show trapped where there's like a saboteur and you have to like catch them out it's sort of like that but 
the chameleon has to like blend in and you have to like see who's lying. It's sort of like bluffing each other and that. It's great. Like we've literally been playing for hours like yesterday on Christmas day. And then I've been playing at Aiden's house with his family. It's been absolutely great. It's my favorite game that I've received this year. So thank you very much, Aiden. I can't believe um, he managed to find this. It's such a very, it's a very different game. I've never seen anything like it before. So next thing Aiden's got me, which I kept going on about this. So I bet he got fed up of me talking about it, but it's this cute, huggable dashend that's a hot water bottle so you heat it up in the microwave it is so cute and um basically i'm in love with dashends and i want to get one when i move to my own house i cannot wait i finally got this it's from urban outfits i've been talking about it for ages and i like fall in love with it more and more every time i go in so he must have just got sick of me talking about it oh yeah he also got me this because i am a ravenclaw which is one of the harry potter houses so aiden got me a ravenclaw ornament because again all i go on about is how there's not enough ravenclaw stuff compared to gryffindor and Slithering stuff. I am a geek, I know, but he managed to find this little tree ornament and we've decided to collect like little ornaments and stuff. Like I bought Aiden a tree ornament for Christmas too and we're gonna like collect them up for our like first Christmas together in our own house so we can put them all on the tree and they've all got like a special meaning behind them. We're gonna try and like buy some when we're abroad and stuff so then we like have a collection of ornaments that are like meaningful. And then Aiden also bought me tons of Malteser truffles and these socks which I am in love with. So they're Dickie socks. I thought these colors are really cool. So I've got orange and red and then yellow and navy blue I think. I think that's what they look like on here. They're adorable, I absolutely love them. Um, I didn't ask for them, I just, I was meant to ask for them for Christmas but I never did so I don't know how you read my mind but thank you very much Aiden for these, I absolutely love them. Okay, so the final few things that I got for Christmas. So I got these wide-legged pink corduroy um, culottes from Primark. I love this style. I've got the black ones and I saw the pink ones and um, fell in love with them. So my nan kindly bought me those for Christmas. And they'll go perfectly with the pink coat. I'll be like a massive pink overload. I also got some cute little slipper socks that have swans on with little crowns. Absolutely love these. They're so fluffy and cute. I love slipper socks and I just, by the time it gets around to Christmas, all my fluffy socks have gone all gross or they're not so fluffy anymore. So it's really nice to receive like socks. I love them. Some new bras. <laughs> Some new bras because I was in need of those. Thank you very much to my grandparents for that. <laughs> my grandparents also bought me a cute little pajama set. They're, these are like emerald green. You can't really see on the camera very well. I don't know if you can, but they're emerald green with this beautiful floral print and lace on the side. And then this is sort of like, the top is sort of like a slip dress. It like goes over the shorts, but you've got the shorts on there for like extra safety, I guess. But this is beautiful. I wore this last night. It's really like light and airy, um, which I like prefer. I prefer wearing like lighter um, pajamas to sleep in. Now, my nan and granddad also got me this bodysuit, which I really loved. Um, it's a, one of those black, it's a black bodysuit, it's pretty simple, it has like a twist in the middle and it's quite like low cut and I just thought this would be good for nights out or even in the day tucked into jeans. Um, I just know, I just thought it was like a staple piece that I didn't own so I really loved that. Then final few things, I have a um, mini pink gin set which I was looking for ages for in B&M but I never end up finding so I don't know how my auntie again read my mind and got me these. So it's got the Whitley Neal Raspberry Gin in, Gordon's Pink and then the Lakes Rhubarb and Rosehip Gin. I love rhubarb gin, so I can't wait to try all these out and take these to uni with me. Final few things, I got this from my auntie, which is a little journal with my initial on the front. You all know how much I love journals and notebooks. I can't get enough of them. I always utilize them um, for loads of different things, like for uni, for my blog, for YouTube, just general daily lists, to-do lists, so that'll get its use. I have the first one that my brother bought me for my birthday called The Word Is Murder and I've been wanting to read it for ages. However, uni has taken over my life so I vow to myself in between my studying in this Christmas period I'm going to start that Word Is Murder book and I really want to um, collect the rest of the series. So this is the second one, it's called The Sentence Is Death and my auntie bought me this too so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to read this. I think that is everything that I've got for Christmas. Um, I'm really, really grateful. From the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful for all the presents. I did not expect people to get me all of this stuff. So thank you very much to anyone who's gifted me something. Wish me a Merry Christmas. I spoke to a few of you guys on Christmas wishing you the best day with your families. I hope you had a great time. Make sure to smash thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye.